Hi there! Today I'm going to talk to you about communicating your message through video, audio, as well as through still photos. We've used still photos in pic collage to tell people about respecting ourselves, others, and the world around us. Now we're going to communicate that same message of respect for ourselves, others, and the world around us through these other mediums using iMovie. Let's take a look at iMovie and get into the app. When I first launch iMovie, I'm going to see three tabs across the top, video, projects, and theater. I want to go to the projects tab so that I can start a new project. We're going to start by using trailers. You can also make full-length movies here, but we're going to use the trailers this time to get ourselves started in iMovie. So I tapped trailer and I can see there are lots of different themes that I can select from in iMovie. You may select whichever theme that you would like to to communicate your message. However, the theme that you select needs to A, communicate your message effectively, and B, you need to make sure that you've used the entire trailer up. I can tell that this trailer is 58 seconds long. When I go to something like this narrative, it's 1 minute 34 seconds long, and when I go to the family, it's 1 minute 19 seconds long. I need to use that entire trailer. I can't make it longer, I can't make it shorter. So choose wisely. I'm going to use the indie because it has this cool stars theme. I like the font, I think it's attention grabbing, and I think that we're all stars here at Peckway Valley, so I'm going to choose the indie theme and go ahead and tap create up at the top here. So when I tap create, I start in the outline view. I want to make a few quick changes here. I'm going to change the movie name because Europe, a love story, doesn't fit what I'm going to communicate. So I'm going to call my movie, hmm, I think I'm going to call it Respect at PV. I'm going to quickly just change um, a couple other things here. Oops, I can't move that down. Gotta move it there. Okay, I'm going to change the studio name to fit my name, and I'm going to give it the name of Donnelly. Oops, Donnelly Directions. and I'm going to put my name in the directed by spot as well. Those are the only things I'm really going to change here. I don't want you to spend a lot of time changing the things in the outline. I'd just like you to change the movie title, the studio name, and the directed by because that way when you turn this in I'll see that you did this project. Last but not least the thing that I really want to do, get into the storyboard here. When I click into storyboard, I can see they've given me some blue spaces for text. We've worked with that. I can see they've given me some gray spaces. And the gray spaces are where I'm going to use my video or I'm going to use my photos to communicate my message of respect. So, when I tap in that, uh, that gray space, it's highlighted by a blue outline and I can see that's changed the things over here on the right hand panel. Now at the bottom what you can't quite see and let's help you see that is it says down here it says videos, photo, or camera. I'm going to tap the photos because I know that I have a whole bunch of photos inside my camera already. If iMovie asks you if it can access your photos, please press OK. So I'm going to go to the All and I'm going to start out with our first rule, Respect for Self. And I see some photos here of me respecting myself. I really like this one. I'm going to just tap that and it goes, goes right into the spot in iMovie where I've already selected and then I can just drag my photo simply by putting my finger here and dragging it into the position that I want. I can pinch, I can zoom just like I could in all my other apps and if I want to preview what that looks like I just press the play here 
and I can hear the music in the background that iMovie's already given to me there. I'm going to tap in this blue space and change this to my first rule, respect for self. And then maybe in this next one, instead of writing respect for self again, I'll type what I'm about to do. So let's find a photo for that first. Oh, I see a picture of me hugging and holding. I like that one. So I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. And in the blue space, I'll tap in there, hug and hold. I would continue to do this process until all of these blue bars and all of these gray boxes are filled. You can see there are many, many gray boxes. So I need to fill every single one of those. When I want to preview my movie, I can press this space right here and I can see my movie from the beginning. And I can hear that audio that it gave me. And what you'll notice is, because I didn't fill all the gray boxes, in a few seconds, you'll just see some gray spaces. Oh, those aren't looking the best. So I'm going to have to go ahead. I'm going to have to go ahead and finish editing my movie. So I'll go through and I'll put some additional photos in here of me respecting myself, respecting others, and respecting the world around me until all my spaces are filled. These can be pictures that you've taken or you can watch the copyright friendly images video that I'm going to give to you as well to learn how to download copyright friendly images to your photos that you'll then be able to find amongst these photos to show those same things, respect for self, others, and the world around you. Now remember, you only have a few classes to work on this, so you cannot spend all your time looking on the internet for different photos for respecting yourself, others, and the world around you. Start by using what you've already got. You should have quite a few photos from our pick collage um, projects. You should have quite a few photos from when we were working on taking screenshots in Notability to already help you with respecting yourself, others, and the world around you. You could also use Notability taking screenshots again to go ahead and draw pictures if, you've like, if you'd like to do that to help you with this project. So that's a quick look at iMovie and how to make trailers to communicate your message. I hope that you learned something and thanks for watching.